So usually when I do these type of videos where I help you try to become a better designer, I usually start from scratch or start with a bad example and then make it better. But today we're gonna work in reverse and make a pretty good design look like absolute garbage and hopefully somehow this will make you a better designer. So here we have a design, it's pretty solid. It's not the greatest thing you've ever seen, but the UI design fundamentals are all there. The visual hierarchy, the type, the scale, color and contrast, it has it all going for it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the UI design fundamentals that I talk about a lot, and we're going to apply them one by one in order to show you just how bad it will make a good design, even if you have just one of them off. Now, if you have a weak stomach, don't watch the end because we're going to mix and match these different UI design fundamentals to really probably just make you vomit. All right, so let's go ahead and before we begin, Linode makes it easy and affordable to host your website, your portfolio, your online store, and more on whatever technology stack you use. Getting up and running is fast and easy with one-click app installs like WordPress and Drupal. With backend access to your server, customization and scaling options are all but limitless. If you just need something small like an online portfolio to showcase your work, Linode has you covered. If you need to manage tons of clients' websites and reliably serve them to millions of visitors, Linode can do that too. So sign up using the link below in the description to get $20 in credit on your new Linode account. So the very first one, these are in no particular order. I see this often when I'm doing my live design reviews, and that is, you guessed it, drop shadows. So as you can see, this just really takes the design from something that's much more simplistic into something that now just looks so cheap and amateur. So a great way to ensure that your design looks amateur is to add these high contrasting soft drop shadows on your text. Also on these type of elements that, you know, there's not a lot of contrast between the drop shadow itself and also the drop shadow in the background. It really just makes me want to drop. Horrible. So the next bad practice here that I want you to avoid is borders. So as we can see, the borders really just make it cheap. It makes it unnecessarily complex. And really it reminds me of back like 60 or 70 years ago is when you, you see these homes that were built and everything is compartmentalized, you know, everything's very blocky. You want the new modern homes with open floor plans. As we can see, if we go back and forth, it just looks so much better. There's a lot less visual distraction occurring. And seriously, these borders, they make me want to put a free all right, the next horrible thing you can do to your designs is integrate bad type. Yes, I don't really see many people these days using Comic Sans, but I do see a lot of people using serif fonts where it's really not appropriate. I have to say nine times out of 10, depending on your project, you can never go wrong just by using a simple sans serif font like this, as opposed to something like this and mixing and matching different typefaces as you see here. And one way to ensure probably more so than any other UI design fundamental or practice to make your design look like garbage is to have type that looks like this that just completely does not fit at all. Now this next practice is what I'm gonna call, holy crap, I can't see absolutely horrible i see it all the time and that is a lack of freaking contrast every week when i do my ui design reviews on the live streams i see people for some reason and you know what i'll be completely honest with you i would say in the early 2000s i was really fascinated i don't know why it's not like i had something against people with bad vision or who are blind i liked having really small type but also i liked decreasing the contrast so much to the point at which you can barely even see it or read it or you would need a magnifying glass it's really bad in terms of modern age when we're trying to push ourselves forward as designers to make everything accessible you really want to make sure that your contrast is there. Check out my channel. I uh, the search. There's a WCAG, which is the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines for color contrast, so that you can make sure that your color contrast doesn't suck like this. Now, another great way to make sure your UI design looks very amateur is to also integrate bad color choices. And as we can see here, we've gone from something that's pretty much white and shades of blue 
into something where you're really not sure what's happening because there's too many colors occurring here. Also, we can see in this container, for instance, we have uh, the icons, they are blue right here, but this one had to be white because this one's too dark or just too, too much saturation uh, compared to the other two. And it just completely throws the design off because there's a complete lack of consistency as it pertains to color. So you wanna keep things as simple as possible don't try to integrate too many damn colors into your UI because that's yet another way to make sure your UI design sucks and is amateur. Now, the next way to ensure that you're never gonna get hired as a designer is to have bad visual hierarchy. So what happened here is I increased the size of the different pieces of type and they're all pretty much around the same size and that creates an issue of visual hierarchy. You're really not sure which element you should be reading first. If we revert back to the original design, you know, okay, your eye is naturally drawn to the bold and larger headline, which happens to be the most important element here in this design. And then we have the smaller paragraph here, the smaller paragraphs down here, and they all nicely just flow together because we have an established visual hierarchy. When you do this, it is horrible. Don't do that. So as you can see, when you screw one thing up and everything else is pretty good in terms of design, it doesn't completely destroy the design. But chances are, if you're a new designer, you may be doing any number of these things wrong at the same time. For instance, you might be adding horrible drop shadows along with bad color. Or you might also add on really crappy contrast with a bunch of borders. Jesus. Or God forbid, you're also integrating some bad visual hierarchy and scale, and you're left with a total turd. So when you really understand good UI design fundamentals, you can knock all this garbage out and really just be able to create design after design that always looks good. So at scrimba.com, and this is linked in the description, I have a free one hour course on UI design fundamentals. And it also happens to be the very first hour of my full UI design course, which is gonna be hours upon hours long. That's really gonna take you from somebody who might be producing something like this to someone who could produce something like this on a more consistent basis. All right, so make sure you check that out. As always, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.